Hi, today we're going to talk about drayage. Drayage is the process of moving goods in shipping containers short distances with a truck. In drayage, goods are usually moved from an ocean port to a rail station, warehouse, or another port. Drayage moves are common for trade shows and mall deliveries. The mall has one dock to deliver everything, so they combine things in the shipping container. Items from Macy's may be put in the shipping container with items for J.C. Penney's. They then sort them out and take them to the individual stores. Drayage moves are usually very short distances within the same city and within one work shift, like eight hours. There are over 60 million drayage moves in the U.S. each year. This comes to a whopping $50 billion. The charges for such move are also called drayage. The drayage charges are separate from the other costs associated with moving a shipping container. Drayage costs typically run between 80 cents and $1 per pound of freight move. Freight that can be moved with a forklift is around 80 cents per pound. Whereas freight that is more delicate and more labor intensive is on the dollar end of the scale. Drayage costs are really expensive, so I'm going to give you some tips to save some money if you're going to ship drayage. Drayage costs add up very quickly, so here's a few things to look for in reducing costs. Drayage costs are rounded up to 100 pound units, so you're going to pay the same thing for 110 pounds as you would for 200 pounds, so keep that in mind. Because drayage charges are generally rounded up to the nearest $100, Make sure all your shipments come in at the same time. Some shippers have a 200 pound limit, another reason to have all your shipments come in together. Separate drayage charges could easily double the cost of shipping. Whenever possible, make sure your items are on pallets or in shipping containers. Items that can be moved by forklift are much cheaper than items that have to be moved by hand. Labor costs for loading and unloading can easily cost $100 an hour. So make sure you agree on these ahead of time. However, if you're shipping to a trade show, these rates may be contracted and you may have to pay whatever is in the contract. In these kind of situations, you may want to consider just renting the heavy items from the trade show like chairs and tables and then hand carrying your other items. Trades can add up, so be aware and be prepared. Hope to see you at the next conference. If there's a topic you'd like to see, let me know in the comments. Hit subscribe to get a notification on the next video. See you then.